Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I want to show you the new model view permission that was released in Django 2.1. So at the time of recording this video, Django 2.1 was released a couple of days ago. So today is August 3rd and the permission was released on August 1st. So in this video, I just wanna show you what that means and how you can use it. So basically the idea is um, before this new permission, there were only three permissions by default that would be on a model, and those were add, change, and delete. So if you created another user that had access to your admin dashboard, they can only do those three things. And if they couldn't do any of those things, then they couldn't see the model at all. Well, now with a view permission, it allows them to look at the model so they can see the data inside of that table that the model represents, but they can't actually do anything. So they can't add, delete, or change anything. So that's what I'll show you here. So I have uh, two versions of Django set up. I have one for Django 2.0, the last version, and then I have one for Django 2.1. So uh, I believe I'm in the 2.0, so I just named it Django 20. I'm going to create a project. Uh, we'll just call this permissions. And I need to activate pip inf. Okay, so now I, I should be able to create the project and it has my old history. So Django admin start project permissions and I'll CD into permissions, and then I'll migrate everything. I'll create a super user. And then, let's see. Then I can create an app that I'm going to use to create a test model so we can see what's going on. So, um, Python manage.py start app. We'll call this a uh, view model. All right, so now I should be able to bring this into VS code and take a look at the code that I have here. So I'll go into permissions, I have view model. So I'll add a view model to my app. So when I add the model to my view model app, it gets picked up when I do make migrations. So um, view model, and then inside of this app, I'll go to models, I'll create a model here, and we'll just call this test model. The model itself doesn't really matter, it's just seeing how the permission works on it. And I'll just give it one column, I'll call it name, max length equals 20. Okay, so that should be enough to create this. So uh, make migrations. And then I'll migrate. Okay, so now I should have that model in my database. And if I go here to slash admin and log in, I need to add it to the admin. So admin.site.register. And then the name of the model is test model. And of course I have to import that. So from dot models import test model. Okay, so that should be enough to see it here. And there we go. So I have test models here. What I'll do is I'll just add a couple of things. So I'll just say one two and three okay so because i'm an admin user i can see everything and i can do everything with this model so i can add change delete and view it of course i am the admin user but what i'll do is i'll add another user so i'll call this user pretty printed and save and I'll make this user a staff user so they can log into the admin dashboard. And if you go down here to the user permissions, there are all these permissions that are available. And if you look at the view model that I have here, I have three permissions. I have can add test model, can change test model, and can delete test model, but nothing about viewing. So what I'll do is I'll add, let's just say the add permission to the test model. I'll save, 
log out, and then I'll log in again as pretty printed, the user that isn't the admin. And I see I have test models here, but I can't click on it. So I can't actually view the data. I can add new data, but I can't click on it and view it. So if I log out and log in again, and then I Um, let's see, did I forget? Oh, I'm using the wrong username. It's Anthony, not admin. So if I go to users and I go to pretty print it and I remove that permission and then I log in as pretty print it again. I don't see anything here. So even though the model test models exist in the database, I don't see anything here because I don't have permission to add, change, or delete. And before this new permission was created, what you had to do was you had to kind of create your own permissions so users can view a model without changing anything. But now in Django 2.1, uh, you don't have to do that because Django includes that for you. So in the next app that I create, I'm going to do everything exactly the same. The only difference is I'll be using Django 2.1 instead of Django 2.0 like I'm using here and you'll see what happens. So I'll stop this and I'll just uh, close the folder. And then Django 2, 2.1, yeah. Okay, so let's see, exit, and then Django 2.1, pip in shell. So this is starting up my shell for Django 2.1. So this is the latest version. Start project permissions. So I'll name everything the same just to keep things consistent. I'll migrate. And then I'll create the super user. All right, and then I'll create an app called View Model. Start app View Model. Not the best name. I'm terrible at naming things, but View Model works in this case. And then I'll go to Settings and add that View Model. That way, it picks up the bottle when I add it. Whoops. So test model again, name models.charfield max length equals 20. Um, admin site uh, register test model. And then from dot models, I'm going to import that test model. Okay, so I believe that's it. So I can run the server. And now this is going to be Django 2.1. So I'll log in with my admin user again. I have the test models here and I forgot to migrate everything. So make migrations and then migrate. Run the server again and this page should work. Okay, so I see this. So now what I'll do is I'll add in some data. And then I'll go and add a new user. So pretty print it is the user. Save. And now when we go down to permissions, not only can you see the view permission on these other tables, but I'm more concerned with the view permission on my model that I created. So view model test model. I see add, change, and delete just like before, but I also see view. So if I add the view permission and save, and then log out and log in as pretty print it. And I forgot to make this uh, staff user. So let me do that really quick. So users, pretty printed, staff status. Okay, so now I should be able to do it. 
test models, I can view it. I can see the data that's in the database. It's obviously not that complicated. It's just a name. So name one and four and so on. But at least I can see the data. So I can't do anything with it. I can't add change or delete it, but I can see it. And that's pretty useful for an admin user because, you know, there are times when they need to see some information, but not be able to change it. That's actually a pretty common thing. So it's nice that Django has this new feature in Django 2.1, because um, oftentimes you don't want to give your admin users permission to change something because they might mess something up. So by not allowing them to change something, only view something, they can still get their job done but uh, you won't run the risk of them messing up some of your of your data. Whereas before, if you wanted them to be able to view the model, they had to be able to change it in some way. They had to have the change permission. So um, now that you know that, hopefully in your apps, uh, you can integrate this if you want. Uh, just know if you want to remove the default permission, uh, there is the meta class here. So meta, and then I believe is default permissions. And then it just takes in a tuple of the permissions that get created by default. So change, add, delete, and view. Uh, so these are things that I get created in the database. So if you remove one, when you go to migrate the table, it won't add that particular permission in the database. And when you go to the admin dashboard, you won't be able to uh, assign that particular permission to any users at all. Um, it's not as common as just using the permission in the first place. Like normally there's no harm in having the permission available, but not giving it to anyone. But if you have a case where you don't want that permission used for anyone for any reason, then you can go here to the default permissions in the meta class and you can remove it. So that's it for this video. I just want to show you how that view permission worked in Django 2.1 because it's like the major feature of Django 2.1, which came out a couple of days ago. And I hope to do more videos like this in the future to where I talk about uh, new changes in you know Python, Flask, Django, whatever I'm talking about on my channel in general, I'll cover changes to the libraries themselves. So before I end the video, I just want to say, if you haven't been to my website, I have courses on both Django and Flask and also some Python stuff. Um, I have one, two, three Django courses available. Two of them are free, one's premium. So if you want to check that out, just go to prettyprinted.com. There's going to be a link in the description below if you want to uh, click a link instead. And you can take at least the free courses that I have there. Um, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions about this new view permission in Django 2.1, you can always ask a question in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.